Hello, welcome back. I'm Statman Dave. Today, we're going to take a look at Ruben Neves and where he should go following the news. He's going to leave Wolverhampton Wanderers. Get down below in the comments and let me know which club he should be playing for next season. Check out Sofa Score as well. Absolutely banging out where we do all of our statistical analysis. Anyway, it's time to dive in. So let's look at the news from today. Wolves preparing for possible departures of Ruben Neves and Jao Moutinho, but looking to sign two central midfielders, Sporting Lisbon duo Nunes and Paulinho, high amongst options. The most likely move for Neves, currently Barcelona. Ruben Neves is a player that has got a lot of hype around European football in the last few seasons, of course, joining Wolves in the Championship from Porto. He's had a good number of uh, seasons um, in the Premier League and in the Championship for Wolves, dominating the play, controlling the tempo from central midfield. Now at 25, soon to be 26, he's starting to reach the peak of his career and a player that can really open up uh, and unlock defences. I think one of the biggest skills of Ruben Neves is that control, you know, the exceptional long-range passing and the ability to unlock the door. If we take a look at his uh, some of his detailed statistics, um, we can see the type of footballer uh, that he is, um, and that is a, a player that likes to open up the opponent and really dictate the tempo. Of course, statistically, uh, ranks in the 99th percentile for long passes attempted and long passes completed. 20 long passes per game attempted, 14 completed. Also very high in switches of play at 4.49, which obviously coincides with that long range passing. Uh, Passes into the final third at 7.16 in the 94th percentile as well. Ruben Neves is a player, is a player that likes to dictate the play and he did that against Watford in the recent game. Uh, scored himself a goal, as we know, seven goals from outside the box. That's another one of his traits, uh, a threat from range, uh, seven goals in the four Premier League seasons, uh, but does really dish Distribute uh, the ball and control the tempo. 110 touches versus Watford. Uh, 94 passes completed at a 96% completion rate. But the mad stats here, 19 out of 21 long passes completed. The most of any outfielder in a single game this season coming from the Wolves man. Uh, defensively as well, we've not really covered that yet. But it's decent uh, in terms of the, the last season. He had the six sixth most tackles in the Premier League at 86, ranking him fourth amongst central midfielders. And his 4.7 tackles plus interceptions per 90 is decent. He's active, he's aggressive. Um, not massively in terms of his pressing numbers being impressive, but again, that's given the Wolves system. They do like to sit off at times and allow their opponents on. So I think the big question is where, you know, where he'd fit in and where he would, uh, you know, excel um, in defensive midfield. The reported price tag for Ruben Neves is around 40 million, which in this market is a bit of a bargain. But let's take a look at the first uh, destination, of course, reported by David Ornstein, is FC Barcelona. Where would he fit within their side and where would he fit within their setup? Uh, of course, Barcelona have seen a massive resurgence under Xavi um, with their positional play, with their rotation, you know, coinciding with a brilliant result against Real Madrid, beating them uh, four goals to nil. And I think the side, uh, you know, that we're looking with Barcelona, the shape is so, so good, so positional in that sense. But Sergio Busquets, their current number six, so important in opening up the play and playing through with Pedri and De Jong ahead. So where you know where he could fit into the side, where he could fit into the tactics is an interesting one. And I think first and foremost, you know, with Sergio Busquets being such a, a key pivot, you know, at times joined by the right back in, in Danny Alves in defensive midfield to overload the opposition. Um, but of course, straight away where, you know, Ruben Neves in the long term could replace Busquets. Busquets currently at 33. He isn't getting any younger. So that long term replacement needs to come in. Uh, Busquets have played 95% of the minutes available in this season. Maybe it's time to bring someone in and to rotate. Uh, Neves could provide that. And with the positional play and rotation of this Barcelona team, the long range passing really suits this Barca team where, you know, Dembele and Torres do get into those 1v1 situations and that's what the style dictates. And that long-range passing would really suit um, Barcelona under Xavi with Neves in midfield. I think one of the other things as well, when the opponent has the ball, in the transition with Neves' ability to be an active defender um, and more mobile than Busquets in the transition, I think that could really help Barcelona. You know, they do overload that DM area to counter-press at times with both of their fullbacks. Um, you know, that centre block does allow the counter-press and having someone like Neves, you could be a little bit more touch-tight and aggressive with the opponent than with Busquets who has to play a little bit more with an intercepting game in the mind. But I think Neves at Barca as a long-term replacement 
two Sergio Busquets would work. But you've still got the likes of Frank Kessi, you've got Gavi, you've got uh, Nico Gonzalez in there, you've got Frankie de Jong that could play DM. And Barcelona have got quite a lot of options, uh, but that's not saying that Neves wouldn't, wouldn't be a really good signing uh, to continue the development. So let's take um, let's take a look at another team uh, that might be suited of signing someone like Ruben Neves. We've got to look at some Premier League sides. Uh, first up, let's take a look at Arsenal. Arsenal, obviously, under um, Arteta, play a similar positional game uh, to Xavi's Barcelona. And I think those ideas will be key in the long term for Ruben Neves' development. I think the thing we see with, with Arsenal at the moment is the high and the depth of the wingers. We see the, the deepness of the centre-forward, the number nine. Um, and then we see two free eights in Odegaard and Granit Xhaka with Thomas Partey sitting and hunt, controlling the play. So when we're looking at the, the Arsenal team, where, you, where would you want to recruit next? I think it's striker and at left central midfield would be the two areas of the pitch that I would be looking uh, to improve. I think that's definitely the two positions that Arsenal fans want you know, want some improvement there. Um, you know, following the the real improvement of their defence with the signings of the likes of Gabriel, Ben White, uh, and Ramsdale in between the sticks. So Arsenal in their four one four one again another shape and system that Ruben uh, Nevers could easily fit into. You know, played uh, quite a bit of his career at Wolves as a DM in a three five two, very similar with two eights ahead of him. So I think the big thing, obviously, Grant Xhaka long term is someone that Arsenal would want to improve on. Um so signing Ruben Neves, could he play as a higher free eight? Yeah, definitely would have the range. You know, we've already spoken about his ability to score from outside the box is, is good. He's a threat. Could he add goals and assists to it? Yeah, he probably could. But what I kind of expect maybe is Thomas Party to play a little higher and then Neves to play deep in midfield to allow him to really utilize that long range passing that we spoke previously about that is so good. But also passing into the final third, you know, party Odegaard in between the lines, you know, that rotation of the ball could be really nice. Arsenal do uh, move their fullbacks inside, similar to Xavi's Barcelona, to overload that area of the pitch and to be able to counter-press. Um, an interesting side with Thomas Partey, I remember a season at, um, one of his, his last seasons at Atletico Madrid, back end of it, started to play higher uh, in the, the midfield uh, and occasionally played wide. Um, so I think he's got the capabilities of playing in an advanced area um, and playing as kind of more of a an attacker than a defensive central midfielder. Uh, you take the game against Real Betis, absolutely fantastic driving forward, uh, providing that quality in the final third. So again, it's it's, it's an interesting thing. You'll be changing the position of one player. Is that what exactly what you want to do? Um, I'm not too sure. Is it an upgrade on Granit Xhaka? Absolutely uh, in there. And I think you can throw Thomas Partey higher up and that would really work for Arsenal. Uh, but let's move on to another club that's needed a number six for about 20 years. Um, or since Michael Carrick, that is Manchester United. And they, you know, are in absolute need of a six, uh, you know, along with a centre forward, along with a right winger. There's a lot of work for Manchester United to do. Ruben Neves, available for 40 million, though, is an absolute steal and bargain. Uh, when we're looking at Man United and, and where they're going to go and how they're going to, you know, change over the next few seasons, uh, you know, there's going to be some drastic changes in the team and in the squad. And I think first and foremost with with Manchester United, getting that number six into midfield is is, is very, very important. Um, and that, that guy to control the tempo. Um, so let's take a look at that, how it would set at United. Uh, let's take Eric Ten Hag's side as an example. If they do play a 4-2-3-1, um, four, but with a, the free eight, that's going to move into an advanced area from that deep position, creating a 4-1-4-1 in possession. Um, Ruben Neves, his ability on the ball would be very important. Um, and I think the, the reliability of Ruben Neves would help Manchester United. And it also suit the squad. United have got loads of eights. You know, so many eights in the team. You know, the likes of uh, Fred, the likes of Scott McTominay, even someone like Paul Pogba is more of an eight than a six. So getting someone like Ruben Neves is so, so important. This is more important than Manchester United signing a centre forward, is signing a true defensive midfielder. Uh, both Pochettino and Eric uh, Ten Hag use um, a controller playmaker in midfield and that controller is Ruben Neves and that is the best suited player for the role um, you know the big thing is you, would I prefer Declan Rice over Neves absolutely Declan Rice is a is a better player with massive potential but Ruben Neves on the cheap would allow United to move in the market elsewhere um, and as we mentioned that 4.7 tackles plus interceptions would help United the long range passing would help United um, but there is work to be done so if we get Neves and then a right winger and a striker could be a good strategy for United in this summer
Thanks for watching, guys. Get into the comments below. Where do you think Ruben Neves should be playing next season? Set to leave Wolves. Arsenal, Barcelona, Manchester United, or another club, maybe a Chelsea. Get in the comments below and let me know. I've been Statman Dave. Subscribe new. We'll see you later.